And all right, I'm back. Got ourselves some black coffee with a little bit of sugar. This is in my Shadowfall Coffee Beer Fest mug. Um, let's take, go ahead and take a sip. Oh yeah, that is good shit. So, we're gonna get a morning shave in today. Gonna go with the classic. We're doing some Chella shaving cream. This one kind of has that almond cherry type vibe. Real simple, but really pleasant and enjoyable. Um, mine seems to have firmed up a little bit. You gotta put a little bit of pressure in order to press into it, but um, still easily pliable and all of that. Got it already whipped up in the Lancaster Razor Works shave bowl. And that right there got the whole red and black theme going on today got the grizzly bay brush right there with the red and black strike gold shave hair force one knot on top badger knot <clears throat> i think we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of menthol to that for this saturday morning shave so i'm gonna grab the the good old menth dealer this this hot piece of equipment right here hasn't made an appearance in a little while so busting out the menth dealer the chilla and the pilla the menth dealer and it just works with a pump action on top and then you can see menthol crystals come flying out I don't really know how well chilla is going to hold up to real menthol because menthol is kind of a lather killer so I'm not going to add too much today just a little bit just gonna add just a little bit for a little light menthol chill. <clears throat> we'll just incorporate that real quick. And then we'll take it to the face. I will say, I didn't have to use a ton of shaving cream at all. And I got plenty, plenty of lather. Took a, took a fair amount of water too, so... That was kind of uh, that was kind of impressive. It's been a while since I used Shella. It's not something that I have a ton of experience with, but the shit just works. <clears throat> Go ahead and get some of this lather on the face. It has kind of a more high structure, low density type feel. But if it worked back then, then it'll still work today. And that is just, these are just facts. Chella has been around a long time. It's been getting the job done for people for a long time. So there's no doubt it's going to be um, good shit today here for me. And it looks like the menthol didn't really, didn't really kill the leather whatsoever. Still got... A ton of density there. Well, not density, but still got a ton of volume. And it has a nice, like, medium strength scent to it. That almond cherry is just bouncing off. All right. I think that will, I think that will do it here for pass number one. Let's, uh, I'm going to take a look at this bad motherfucker right here. So this is a uh, 3D printed um, injector style razor made by Roger Quintero. So Roger has done it yet again. Um, it looks just like a Schick injector, like a vintage Schick injector. He even got like the little... The little chamfers along the uh, the edges here, and it it it's funny because you know vintage Schick injectors are traditionally very light, and this 3D model is obviously very light, um, but it just looks so spot on. Like it it looks so much like a vintage uh, Schick injector, slim head profile, the whole nine yards. But the best part about it is kind of like his innovation when it comes to loading the blade. This is actually spring loaded. So if you if you push down on it, the head just comes down like that. 
and you can pull the blade right out. But you can see there's more than one um, way of holding the blade in. If you can see the top cap, it has two little rivets that align with the rivets in the blade or the holes in the blade. So it's actually clamping it down very tight along with blade stops on either end. So there's like upward pressure. There's um, posts that hold the blade in as well as blade stops. So there's three different ways of kind of holding this blade in place. And it's uh, very simple to put the blade in. I'm trying to find a way to do this without, uh, without covering up the camera. But you just slide it in like that. And what I've found is even if you kind of have it off alignment, it'll just kind of find its way into alignment. And so that looks like it's sitting in there perfect. So let's just get right into this. First use of the Roger Quintero Schick Injector. 3D printed injector style razor. I haven't talked with Roger about if he has a, uh, a special name for this one. I'm sure he does. That feels... That feels great. And if you look on the underside, it has a very large, uh, very large, like, a uh, rinse, rinse port. So that's, that's good to see as well. It's pretty much designed just like a vintage Schick injector. I'd say the only noticeable difference is the loading method. Vintage chick injectors, you never had to touch a blade if you didn't want to because they came with the cartridge of blades that you just inserted the key and injected a blade into the razor. And then when you wanted to throw one away, you could just kind of inject it straight into a blade bank. I would say this is feeling very much so like a vintage Schick injector. I think the angle may be just a tad different. But once you find the angle, you still get that non-threatening little bit of blade feel. It's definitely cutting. I got a nice kind of uh, low level menthol chill going on right now. Gonna try to avoid those blemishes that just don't seem to want to go away. And now I have, <laughs> now I have a gang of blemishes on my neck really, so I'd be surprised if we got out of here with no blood, but uh, we shall see. It's a, uh, it kind of has this like, like you're scraping, scraping toast type sound to it. And it's just like every swipe kind of has it. I think it's because the, the density of like the 3d printed resin or whatever. I think that's why you're, I can hear like so much feedback. Is it just kind of the friction kind of pulses through the. The lightweight material. It's kind of enjoyable though, a little bit of a uh, little bit of feedback. This past one was very smooth. Uh, I I enjoyed that. I haven't had not one single 3D printed razor from Roger that I didn't like. I've liked it. every single one of them has been very very well designed, intuitive even. Like, for me, his, his, um, safety razors, his, uh, double-edged safety razor, the way that it holds the blade in is completely unique, and I think it's very, um, it's a very smart and intuitive design, and when I saw this, 
uh, injector style razor, I thought the same exact thing. I was like, wow, that is unique and innovative. And then I didn't even know then when I saw when I saw the short video of how to load a blade. I didn't even know then that like the multifaceted way that the blade is um, being held into place with the blade stops, the upward pressure, and the um, the posts that go directly through the blade itself. The slather's looking a little bit dry. I paint a little bit of water in. We got time. But um, quite honestly, I I think Roger should take these 3D designs that he's done and take them to a manufacturing shop. I don't think it would I don't think it would fly in all cases like his gem style designs. I think they they're good for 3D printed razors. It's very easy to snap a blade in and snap a blade out. Um, but I don't think it would translate to like a, a premium offering in metal quite the same. But on the other hand, his safety razor design, his double-edged safety razor design, as well as this injector style razor design, I think they would translate very well to a metal, um, like real quality production safety razor in the wet shaving place. The way that this injector is loaded is pretty much, in my opinion, it's pretty much the best thing since the original vintage Schick injector. It's just, I, I, I love how intuitive that thing is. Just, it's, it's just, it's fucking perfect. And the blade just, I, it might have went a little bit askew, but it's still hitting the blade stops, and it, it just lined right back up. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> just can't really, I can't, can't complain about that. Very nimble, low profile head. I imagine if you had to shave under the nose with how thin that profile is, I imagine it would be very easy to shave under the nose. Or do any like detail work or anything like that. Now it's rinsing out a little bit better now that I got a little bit more moisture in it. Kinda didn't want to lose that density though. As the shave goes along here, I'm kind of thinking this is gonna be like a mild to medium efficiency. It does have that like little bit of injector blade feel. But not a ton. To me, I, I'm, it's very welcome, that little bit of blade feel. Definitely doesn't feel like threatening or anything like that. Let's go ahead and just round out the rest of this neck here. All right, so all in all, I think I'm going to enjoy this little addition to my collection here. I don't think it's given the most efficient shave, but it has been comfortable and it has been enjoyable and perhaps with the Perhaps with a few tweaks, up the efficiency, maybe. <clears throat> so let me give a feel around before I actually 
say anything because it's really, it's DFS. I mean, it's ever, ever so slightly not BBS. And I could be happy, I, I, I could be happy with that. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep going and try to create additional irritation or anything like that. I do a with the grain and against the grain and a few pickups. And if that doesn't get me there, I just, I just call it. No need to get any irritation because we're chasing the dragon. <clears throat> As a bearded wet shaver, you kind of have that luxury where it's like, you don't need to be, <laughs> you don't need to be BBS. Although I usually get BBS, I just don't need it. Go ahead and get the neck. So that that vintage, uh, not vintage, that 3D printed chick injector. If you're interested in one, the only way to really contact Roger is through uh, www.thingiverse.com you have to create a user profile which is free and then you have to message uh, Roger Quinn or just visit um, Roger Quinn his um, maker page on Thingiverse and then you'll be able to see he has a whole like catalog of 3D printed shave gear and accessories. Got the Lancaster black sheep towel in purple today. Very nice. And um, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen multiple Roger Quintero designed um, 3D printed shave uh, brushes, razors, bowls, um, brush holders, all kinds of shit. So, he's been doing this for a while. I stand by all of his designs. I've used the majority of them, and I fucking love them. Like, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like a toy when you're using it. Like, although they're really lightweight... They're really well designed, like down to the knurling and and the um, you know the way that the blade is held in place. It's just like they're very well thought out, and well designed. Obviously, the finishing on a 3D printed product isn't going to be like really really good, but it's not bad either. So I have no complaints. I think. The Schick Injector is going to be a great addition to his catalog. And, um, Roger, seriously, bro, you should take some of these designs to a fucking machine shop. Um, I'm dead serious. Like, <laughs> the, the double, the double-edged safety razor and this injector style razor specifically, those are both fucking very intuitive designs. All right. Still got a little bit of low-level chill going, which is very pleasant and refreshing. Gonna be using a little bit of uh, So Sharp Limited in collaboration with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This one's called Not a Tribute because it is not a tribute to David. <clears throat> this was David's idea that he brought to the table. Has a quality industry standard restrictor. No shit strictors here, and we can just pour with reckless abandon, and we're not gonna get too much. We also didn't get too little, because I know some people bitch and moan that the new restrictors are too restrictive. That didn't look too restrictive to me. I mean, coming out, got a handful of splash right there, no complaints. This is alcohol splash, and there's really no sting other than like where the few blemishes are. That's about the only place where I feel any sting. So it was a very comfortable shave indeed. 
And this has a nice almond, or almond and sandalwood, cherry and sandalwood. And this is really nice. It goes really well with cello. All right. I'm going to feel around. That's a good DFS right there. I ain't mad at all. So, Roger, you fucking killed it, bro. This was another hell of a design, and <laughs> I'm never getting rid of this thing. This is a fucking killer, killer razor. I love, love the design on this one. All right, enough gushing. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good weekend. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one.